Sorry. You're jumpy. Oh my god. I think I peed a little. How did you not hear me coming? I was... I don't think we're the only ones here. What? Kate saw a little girl looking out a window at us when we were outside. That's who I saw. A little girl. Mr. Demet probably has family, a staff, maybe friends. Who knows? That said, this place does give me the willies. It's, um, it's unique. Are you singing? Oh, yeah, that's my being scared song. This is my don't be scared song. Sing it <laughs> and I won't be scared long. <laughs> Doesn't really work. I bet. 181. Uh, I think I'm around the corner. 183? This is me. Okay. Okay. Good luck out there. Don't get lost. Scream if you need me for anything. Thanks. I got you. Nothing to be scared of. Actually, hey. Yeah? Why don't you hang a second while I unpack, then I can help you find your room? Something about this place makes me want to use the buddy system. Yes, thanks. I'd end up lost, probably. It's, it's just a haul, dude. And here we are. Well, it's, um, cozy? Huh? It's one step above one of those Japanese capsule hotels. Oh, come on. Could be way worse. Like our room in Topeka. No, nope, do not. I've blocked that from memory and don't want it coming back. Because of the roaches? Because if you snore. Uh, where's the bathroom? Wait, what? Old school. Ah, uh, gross school? What do I have to pee in the middle of the night? Am I gonna walk in on Charlie sitting on the pot? Guess that means there's no mini bar either. Oh. Shows what you know. What is that? Wine, genius. Oh, uh, I feel like if we start drinking, Charlie will find out and lecture me and make me feel like an asshole again. Yeah, he does that, but we're not on the clock. Not until we're rigging to shoot. Which is hard to do drunk. <laughs> I'm not suggesting we get full on a hammer before we work. Why are you doing that? I'm thirsty. Also, you're cute when you're worked up. I don't. Cute? You think I'm cute? Hmm? Oh. You're so clumsy. What would Charlie say? Oh, I know. Where'd it go? Uh, it's uh, all the way against the wall. See it? <coughs> you okay? <coughs> Shit. You trying to scare me now? <coughs> no. Revenge? Because good job. sure you're okay? Because, yeah, maybe me scaring you didn't help, did it? No. But seriously, it's not your fault. I just, I, I try to pretend like it isn't a thing, you know? Like, I don't want to be depending on an inhaler. I try to mind over matter it, but dust and allergies and I just need to be more careful. You sure? Sure, I'm sure. So, uh, yeah, cozy. <laughs> you gonna try that? And now you're poisoned. It's not that bad. You're not lying? It's piquant, decent vintage. Sure. I'm getting... Oaky undertones. 
a hint of citrus. And I want to say a strong, healthy amount of moldy sweat dots. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> I hate you. You are such a liar. Oh, sorry. I thought you meant the thinking you were cute thing. Really? Um, if my cheeks are red, it's from this wine. Not because I am bashful. I swear. Really. Sorry. Didn't mean to make you feel weird. I, uh, yeah, it's just, we work together and Charlie is always on me about being more professional and- I get it. No, I mean, I I'm not saying I don't appreciate it. Erin. Or that I don't think you're cute too. It's just, um. Oh, oh God, um. Sorry. What? No, it, it's fine. I thought you... Uh, I'm an idiot. I mean, I thought I was being a little flirty, but I you just... I can't believe I just did that. Who is that? Enjoying yourself out here like some sort of pervert? Sorry, did I uh, interrupt something here? No, we're just talking shop. We're worried about the power grid handling all of our gear. I don't care what you guys are doing. Then why are you lurking? I can't find my room, and I need a fucking cigarette. <laughs> These funny shapes are numbers. They go up and down in order. Thank you. I've just been down there. Look, give me 10, then we should get a rough plan for getting our first shot. We have all evening. Can't we plan after dinner? I'd like to chill for a minute after the trek getting here. I want to be shooting after dinner. You've got 10 minutes. OK, we'll be down in a few then. Oh, Erin, I checked my blue bag. No cigarettes. That's where I put them. Come and show me. Maybe one of us is colorblind and doesn't know what a blue bag is. Talk more later? Um, yeah, sure. If we have time after shooting, maybe. Good luck finding your rooms. Where the hell are they going? Well? I'm looking. Oh, Kate wanted you to have this. Breaking down walls, navigating the maze of anxiety. Are you fucking kidding me? I think she thought it might help with your stress, or... Absolutely not. I'm not stressed, okay? Do I look fucking stressed? Uh... That was rhetorical. 
Well, your cards came out nice enough. Oh, yeah. Embossing makes a huge difference. You old guys love business cards. <laughs> old school. You old school guys. I also put it on heavy stock and did the logo in foil. Damn. I should have had one ready for Mr. Dumet. Did you find them? I... no. I swear I put them in here. I don't understand. <gasps> Jesus. Check the other bag. Didn't you already? Just look. It's only clothes and, uh... Uh, this. Notice of eviction. The studio? I paid the studio rent out the wrong account and the check bounced. It's nothing. I just have to use another... It's fine. So you're saying not to worry? Worry about finding my bloody cigarettes. They're gone, Charlie. Gone? Just like that? Are you saying somebody took them? I... I don't... Actually, I can see Kate doing that. Or Jamie. I'm sorry. It's fine. Let's just get on with things. This place is massive. Surely there is a pack of cigarettes in here somewhere. Even if they're ancient. You need them that bad? There was a bar off the lobby. There must be cigarettes in the bar, right? I mean, technically, it's not legal to smoke in bars, so... Come on, we're checking. If you find them first, all will be forgiven. So, I know you said it wasn't a thing, but that bank notice... You're fixating, which normally I applaud, but not about this. I mean, you tell us if we were in danger of losing our jobs, right? It's television. Everyone is always in danger of losing their jobs. Sure, but... It's fine. Erin, please. I've squared it all with the network. We're still working on this final episode, and they're paying your salary, not me. Well, but... You have to let this go. We're fine, Erin, okay? Hey, Charlie, I was hoping next season maybe I could do more with the sound design, more creative stuff. Erin, what you already do for this company is very valuable to us. Carrying your bags and picking up your laundry? Absolutely. To get ahead in this industry, you have to pay your dues. Show you're ready to muck in. I... I think you should get an assistant. An assistant? Oh, it was just a stupid idea, Charlie. I'm an just... An assistant? A personal assistant? Sort of. And then I could help out with the editing. Pardon me? The editing? The audio mix. Look, I just think you've got so much to give, so much experience. And it's an opportunity to pass that knowledge on. Right. Yes, I suppose it is. And an assistant wouldn't lose my cigarettes, would they? Exactly. So, do you still want to direct movies, Charlie? I am directing. No, but I mean real movies. With a big budget and big stars. Erin, there's something important that you have to understand. In the work that we do, the very important work, the truth is the star. Hey, maybe Mr. Dumet is in the back office. You could just ask him about cigarettes. Oh, right. Yeah, sorry, Charlie. So you don't want to direct movies. Can we move on from this?
I suppose I should be thankful it's just my cigarettes that are missing and not our gear. Jackpot. Erin, I found the key. Why don't I go check for a gift shop or something? I've already had one asthma attack today, and this dust farm is exactly what I don't need. A gift shop might have cigarettes. Exactly. Had a girl. Wow. An animatronic. Ha! That's what amazing. What would it be, Mr. Demet, sir? <laughs> I'll have a packet of cigarettes, please. A packet of cigarettes, please? Hello? Hello? A packet of smokes? Figured it was too good to be true. Never mind. Thank you, Robo Bowman. Certainly, sir. Whatever you wish. <laughs> no fucking way. Thank you very much, my mechanical friend. Much appreciated. Yes! <laughs> yes! Oh, of course it wants exact change. Damn it! Next round's on me. Promise. Yes. Come to daddy. Oi. Oi. Oh, no, 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 please. Come on, no! Oh, yes. <laughs> Thank you, Lord.
What? No, come on, you piece of shit. Don't do this to me. <clears throat> Antique rubbish. Give them to me. Give me my cigarettes! Right, you. That's it. I'm gonna go and get my key grip, and they are gonna kick the shit out of you. Hey, Charlie. Yeah, I'm still in the bar. I think it's dinner time. We should get everyone else. Okay, I'm coming. And I'm coming back for you with a fucking pry bar. Are you alone in there? Who's that behind the bar? What? Hey, had a thought on an intro segment. You want to shoot now? Yeah, if we get it shot and in the bank, maybe Charlie will stop rewriting everything I come up with. Yeah. <laughs> OK, sure. What? Nothing. Just give me a sec, and I'll be good to go. I'm supposed to buy nothing is eating away at you? Yes. How many times have you cleaned that lens? I'm just prepping my gear. Really? Yeah. Always focusing on the detail, Mark. What about taking a huge risk and just do something? I watched you fuss for a whole week before you turned down that job offer, all because you had to take one extra train to get there. I turned down that job because that would have left you alone with Charlie. How cruel do you think I am? I'm being serious. So am I. Fine. I'll drop it. Great. Let me grab the camera. Let's use natural light so we can do it alone. Didn't the lobby have skylight? I don't remember. I just want to look decent. You look good in any light. I'm not worried. Are you trying to butter me up? Yes. Is it working? Marginally. I'll take it. Mark, why are you letting them all think I broke up with you? I feel like if Jamie knew the truth, she might back off. I mean... They all just assumed. I can't decide if that's sweet or selfish, or both. We're hitting the golden hour. We should be able to find a good spot. <laughs> I don't know why you camera dorks call it that. It's 15 minutes at best. Yes and no, if you have the right reflector. 15 minutes at the most. <laughs> Look, let's go find some light and get started. Thanks for doing this. You're only asking me because your arms are too short for a good selfie angle. My arms are not short. <laughs> Where to? Uh, the balcony would make for a cool angle. Let's find a way up there. How's the new place? It'll do for now. Do you like it? It's just a place to keep my shit in crash. Short-term lease, so I can take my time to find something I really like. That's... Hmm, smart plan. You said I needed to be out, so I got out. Whoa, there, bucko. I was just checking for light. Remember our talk about boundaries? I need my room to be my private, safe place. Sometimes I'm glad we went to therapy. Other times, it makes for some weird-ass rules. I was worried you'd be sleeping on the couch in the studio while you obsessed over finding the perfect place with the right wall color near the proper train station or bus stop or... Maybe we should just add this topic to our discussion no fly zone list. Yeah, you're probably right. So since we can't do it tomorrow, is next weekend okay to come and get my stuff? So if Dumet catches us in here, are we breaking one of his rules? He did. Shit. <laughs> Let's get the fuck out of me.
What are you doing? That scared the shit out of me. Yeah, I feel like Dumet is the kind of dude who loses his shit if you break his rules. Oh, what was your first clue when he took away our phones like we were kind of teenagers? There's got to be a way through. Look at this wallpaper. This is old as hell. Everything here is old as hell. I was expecting an old exterior, but remodeled inside. Looks like Dumet is trying to preserve things. Can't be easy all the way out here. I... Manny Sherman, born January 1, 1956. Come on. You know all this. What do you want? What's this? Huh. You've been doing your research, haven't you, Special Agent Monday? What are my favorite television programs? Describe my first pet? What were your friends like as a child? What is this? You're taking a survey, you're trying to learn something. Would it kill you to be direct? You wanted to know what inspired me? As if I wasn't an original? Well, maybe there was one man I found myself a little fascinated by. Henry Howard Holmes. Why? Because he was numero uno. America's first. The guy invented the trade. He set the benchmark, you know? Learn your history, Monday. Read a book. You think because I stuck a blade in some people and get off on it, I'm not smart? I, uh, allegedly killed 13 people before you got smart enough to find me. Rod is gonna set in. Right there. See that key? Just need to find a way through. Old house. Island beaches with dead fish. Animals in the wood. Could be anything. Whatever it is, it's dead as hell.
Keep your head down. This should work. Mark, you okay in there? I'll be right back.
can do this. Come on, it's not that high. My vertigo is saying otherwise. Thought we were in a hurry. We are, but if I look like shit, we'll just have to reshoot it. Check this out. It's his hat. Who? H. H. Holmes. Fuck! You okay? No! I just... This fucking thing popped out of nowhere. <laughs> See? What is it? Some kind of animatronic? Yeah, a fucked up looking one. It can't hurt you. It scared you. It scared you twice. Hey, Charlie, it's eight. Dinner time. Damn it. We didn't get anything. There's still time. Come on, let's not keep Charlie waiting or we'll never hear the end of it. Hey, be civil with Charlie. He's the one who chose to be uncivil blowing up on me when all I did was my job. I'm the one doing the talking on camera, not him. Come on, you came in hot on him and you know it. Not that you're wrong, but you know he meets anger with more anger. This is on him, Mark, not me. 